Okay, so finally, an update video on me. Um, I know I haven't done a video in a long time, and so I'll try to catch up today and get those videos out of the way of, um, like, my pregnancies and things like that. So, my youngest son, Ezra, is now, um, in a week, he'll be four months old. I did start student teaching a few weeks ago. Um, at the beginning of this semester, we had two weeks of all-day class, and so I was so anxious for that because, you know, I don't leave my babies. And so um, we decided to pay my mom, and we pick her up every day and bring her to our house, and um, she watches our kids' birth here, and then we take her home afterward. And so we had all-day class for two weeks, and everything went fine with that. And so we're like, okay, we're going to do this. And so student teaching started. I'm in um, third grade, which I wasn't too excited about because I am a sixth grade person, fifth grade person. Um, the babies, while I love my own babies, I really do enjoy teaching older children. Um, but I um, do enjoy this experience. I love the kids that I'm with. I like the school that I'm at. My teacher and team that I'm on, is, they're amazing. Um, I'm still breastfeeding my son, Ezra, exclusively. Um, I'm able to pump at school, which I never thought I was going to be able to. I have a really, I have a teacher who has three kids who are young, too, and she's also pregnant right now. And so um, I felt comfortable enough to be like, listen, um, I'm breastfeeding my child right now, and so we need to work something out. And so on my lunch break, and um, while the children aren't specials, which is like music, PE, computer class, and all that. Um, I pump for my baby, and that works out okay. During one of the sessions, I pump in my car, which is so, so glamorous and comfortable, um, but it works, you know, and so I do that, and then the second time I pump in the classroom, or in the, um, the vacant classroom, might I add, or um, in the our pod office, and it's working out really well. Um, Esther's doing great. Um, all Brady and Evan are both doing great with my mom. They love her, and so far she hasn't had a bad day. And this is um, four weeks in, and so I'm really happy as far as that goes. I honestly wanted to give up after the first week of just classes um, before I started student teaching. We were coming home. Our kids were very attention craving. They were upset. My husband was leaving right away for an hour to go take my mom home and come back, and. Um, it was just a lot. It was, we had homework on top of it. Our kids really weren't getting the attention that they wanted and deserved. And um, I thought all this time that I was just going to transition and give Ezra formula because I could not see, you know, working out with his breastfeeding actually happening. Um, and then when it came down to it at the end, I realized that I really, really did not want to start. I didn't want to start giving formula. I wasn't done breastfeeding and I wasn't going to let something like school for like 16 weeks um, make the decision for me for the rest of this first year of his life because I really wanted to breastfeed him. And so I surprised my husband when I said that I didn't want to start the formula. I mean, I, I breastfed Evan for a long time, so I know I could do it, but not in these situations. And um, so anyway, I'm glad I had a really good pump. I have two. I have a... Um, a purely yours double pump and then I have a um, Medela pump and style and I prefer the pump and style. I've also used the Symphony with the, with the two NICU stays, you know the hospital grade pump that Medela makes and my pump and style is just as good as that and um, yeah so it's been doing the job well. My kids are all happy. I'm really enjoying the experience. Um, my teacher actually asked me to email my supervisor and ask her if I could stay with her the entire time. So maybe I won't have to switch and go to fourth grade um, next time just because it'll be a lot better if I already know the students and stuff and I can just keep teaching. But I do like it so far so I'll be doing that soon and I'll let you know how that goes. Um, yeah, but other than that everything's going well. I can't believe that I'm doing this and getting this done. But I do have to admit that I can't wait until this is over. Um, because with my husband and I both being gone like this, um, my kids do still need a little bit more attention from us than they're, get than they're getting. And it is, when we come home, um, the first few hours of the evening is very hard because they, I mean, it's like 
one of them comes up to us and asks us to hold them the next one's coming up and they're upset that we're not holding them and um they're just very attention seeking and so it makes it hard to do our lesson plans and things like that and we have to do a TWS which I don't think most people have to do but it's like a big paper that we have to do and um very it's very very time consuming and it's going to be really hard to do that with our children um also my husband used to work a lot and we've set money aside and really really budgeted and um we're getting our tax return in a few days and we've budgeted the entire year um this entire semester for him to not work except on saturdays when they need him which so far he hasn't worked at all and um, we're just living out of our savings to pay our mortgage and our um, car insurance and our our car is paid off as of a few months ago so that's good but um yeah it's kind of scary but we did plan for this for the last year or so and so we do I mean we know we're fine but um you know it's just it's kind of scary and so I'm really hoping that right after this my husband will get a job very soon and we won't have to worry about it anymore and he'll only have to work at his current job for not that much longer though his job is really good paying and um, the pay is about the same um, I think it's going to be just taking a little pay cut by actually being a teacher but he wants the hours he wants the schedule on to have summer you know some summer vacation to spend with his children he's tired of working the late hours at night and things like that he's been doing it for so long and um, the benefits and things that he'll get as a teacher are so much better and so that's why he's switching over to do something he really wants to do um, so yeah, hopefully one of us gets a job and the other one will stay home because my husband doesn't like um, how, our, how our kids are behaving to this whole both of us being gone thing. Um, I kind of do want to work and I'm pretty sure he wants to work. So I don't know who will be getting the job and who will be staying home. Um, but I'm glad that we're having this student teaching experience together so that we can see during this period um, how our children are behaving to it and how much we like one of us really does want to be here with them so that they're not just with someone else uh, during this time in their lives and um, so that we know not to both take jobs. The job market for teachers in Texas is very very slim right now and um, hopefully in the school district that we're both student teaching at one of us will make a good impression one of us will be getting one of the jobs that they're hiring for this next year and um, we're working with a really good district where this district is actually the only district in the state that is offering a pay raise next semester and so they're really really good to their employees and they have a reputation for it and so I'm crossing my fingers and really trying to put my all into the student teaching thing so that either me or Lance one of us is providing for our family with the hours that is best for our children <sighs> sorry I'm so long-winded um, as far as me goes, I'm still, I'm not losing weight as quickly as I would like to after having Ezra. I thought I lost weight quicker with the other ones. <sighs> but, um, yeah. My stomach, ugh, I don't know, I have some issues right now. Um, I'd show y'all, but I'm, I'm so not prepared to see what it looks like right now, but, um, yeah, so, um, I really do want to start working out. I don't, I can't really ca calorie count because previously in the past, whenever I calorie counted, my milk, um, supply dwindled very quickly, um, in response to that. And so, I've been eating, like, at least 1,200 calories. And I'm a really small person, small build, and so I'm only allowed, really, 1,200 calories, then plus, like, 300 or 400 extra for breastfeeding. But I'm only eating, like, I think 1,200. I'm not really religious about putting it into my, um, my, my fitness pal app that I use on my iPhone because it's kind of depressing right now because I know I can't, um, calorie count and stuff like that. But I need to do something, and I'm not willing to stop breastfeeding, so, um, hopefully I'll see some better results soon because I'm not feeling too hot about myself as far as that goes. I mean, I'm not, like... I'll show you guys. 
Like, obviously, I've had three kids in three years, right? Okay, well, this is, like, what my stomach looks like, which is fine, except that this part sticks out so much from my pants. I don't know if you can see. You see this? Okay, well, I'll admit that it doesn't look that bad in the video, but, um, you know, being out in public with a bunch of young, very, very attractive women all the time at work, and, um, I mean, student teaching, and being in the front of the classroom in front of a whole bunch of eyes, um, you know, I don't want to look like I just had three babies back to back, so hopefully things get moving in that aspect of things. Right now I weigh 124, but I'm 5 foot 3, and that's kind of pushing it, so, um, yeah, I want to weigh like 115, 110, but we will see. Mm, I don't know really what else to say, and this video is really long, as all are all of my previous videos so far, so I probably have zero audience right now, and so if you made it this far, yay for you, and thanks guys, bye!